Join me and find out what I'm packing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Gregory Gage and this is going to be a pack with me for NYC video because Craig and I are heading to New York City in a couple of days and I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Okay, so Craig and I are heading to New York in a couple of days and I haven't ever actually done a pack with me video before so I'm just going to do it the way I think would probably be the best way to do it which is separating it into the different bags. So you've obviously got your checked baggage, you've got your carry-on baggage and like any other little bits and stuff. I will start off with the carry-on baggage because that is the stuff that you need to have your like absolute essentials in. Tickets, money, passports! In case you end up losing your bags. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen, but you need to have some essentials in your carry-on baggage. Okay, so Craig has never been to New York City before and we are going for 10 nights. So it's a long time to be there for, which is great. It gives us plenty of time to do all the stuff we want to do, all the tourist things. We want to go and check out the best place to get bagels, Magnolia Bakery. I want to go and see all of the like filming locations for loads of different movies. So like Avengers, Sex and the City. There's so much to do in New York and we are going to go and see a Broadway show. So I'm very excited about that. I'm not going to say what it is. If you want to find out what it is when we go, follow me on Instagram and I will post it at the time that I go so yes you'll see then so I'm going to pack my stuff I'm going to do my best to put it into like the sections so it makes it more easy so like toiletries and makeup checked baggage hand baggage all that sort of stuff just so that it's like sectioned I guess right let's see how this goes and join me as I pack my stuff so your hand luggage needs to have some seriously essential stuff in it that you are going to need to keep hold of in the unlucky situation your checked bag gets lost. So let's start there. Okay, so number one, you are going to need a portable charger. So I've got this one from Skinny Dip giving me life. That stays in my hand baggage so I do not ever run out of battery. Obviously you want your chargers and stuff so you're readily available to charge your stuff. Also this probably isn't going to be like on its own in the bag because it attaches to what this is being filmed on right now. It's a tiny little handheld tripod thing for the, the camera. So this is a Manfrotto one. Really really handy. If you're a vlogger and you've got a camera you probably know about this already. But if you don't then Manfrotto, this is really good, easy to hold and you can like angle your camera on it. So yeah, very good. Plastic freezer bags for your essentials. We will put stuff in this in a sec and I will show you what is going in my ones. One thing I noticed when I got on planes, my skin gets really, really dry. So moisturizer, always pack moisturizer with you when you go away. Then you wanna make sure you've got some lip balm as well in case your lips get dry on the plane, which mine always do. Now this one is going to be really really obvious and stupid but toothpaste and toothbrush this has to go into your hand luggage because you don't want to be lost without a toothbrush and toothpaste. Cleansing wipes for just when you want to give your self a bit of a spruce up on the plane and you can't actually wash. Air gel will go in there as well and then I never like to smell bad so this, 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 this is my like go-to fragrance. It's really, really good. It's 100 mils, so it is travel friendly. This is Him by Zadig and Volta. It is seriously like the nicest smell ever. Ah, you can't smell it, but pretend it's smell vision This is Him. Spare camera batteries. I have three spare ones that I usually just stick in my bag, so I've always got a spare battery in case I need it. It's always good to have more than you need. So the bag isn't coming with me, but some of the stuff from inside the bag is. I've been working out a lot more at home lately and doing my best to keep fit and exercising and stuff. And a lot of people will slack when they go on holiday, but you don't have to because there's some easy stuff that you can take with you so that you can still work out train while you're away without it being like too intense or like interfering with the vacation. Resistance bands, these things are really handy. You could, uh, they're very handy. So, I mean, I'm not doing it properly, but you get the point. Resistance bands, easy way to continue training even when you're away. Okay, let's talk makeup. So, just cause you're a guy doesn't mean you can't wear makeup. Hi. I've got my Spectrum bag here, and I'm just gonna dump all of my makeup in here. My go-to brush, the best brush ever, this is the B01 from Spectrum. Yves Saint Laurent, however the hell you say it. So this is primer. Primer is an essential part of the whole makeup routine. That is going in here. My go-to, go-to 
makeup number seven color match foundation stuff it's really really good that is going in there i do actually need to get some more because that is running low boots number seven instant radiance concealer this is great for under the eyes but then i will also put this in there as well so this is a tea tree and witch hazel uh concealer stick you can look fresh even if you 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 do have spots and i do suffer from spots at times um so yeah that's that's a good one so this here is a, another tea tree in which hazel this is a blemish stick so this isn't makeup this uh literally just helps to get rid of spots in a short amount of time and that is pretty much it for the makeup okay then this might sound a little bit depressing but i will have to take my work phone with me when i go so i can be on the phone if i need to be on the phone and then i'll also be taking my macbook not specifically for work but if I do need to do any work, then I can get it done straight away. But I will be taking this with me anyway, so I can watch movies on the plane. Okay, we are at the fun bit, the clothes. This is good, 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 good. Got my suitcase all ready to go. In the check baggage, I'm going to have a can of hairspray, a spray can of dry shampoo, my deodorant. And then along with that, because I am going to be away when I need to change these over, you may, I don't know if you can see, I am wearing my aligners from Wonder Smile. So I have number six of seven so that is going in there as well and now it's time for the clothes so let's get clothy so i like to have a lot of options when i go away so that i am never caught out and i have something for every possible occasion although new york right now is very very cold so i am mostly going to need to layer up more than anything else i'm going to be taking some cool shirts like this this is just a really nice gingham check shirt and then obviously we're going to be going to the disney store when we're there because it's Times square and i want to do the opening because they sing and it's exciting so obviously going to be taking this this is my really simple go-to mickey mouse shirt from h&m so it's like smart but it's not like over the top it's kind of cute that's coming too you obviously need to be comfortable when you're getting on a plane so disney spirit jerseys all the way it's the standard go-to for me when i'm traveling because they are just so comfortable to to wear when you're you're traveling so i'll take the blue and i will also take the black really simple white sweater for layering up loads of stuff cute spotty kind of dotty shirt that's gonna come too this i really like this is just a it kind of reminds me of like an army outfit because it's that sort of camo green color chunky knit that will keep me warm you can't really go wrong with cake worthy either so i'm gonna take this tail as old as time shirt it's also quite a thick one as well so that will be good for keeping out the cold plain white shirt from french connection so if i want to be smart without having like the mickey mouse all over the top this here is one of my go-to sweaters as well this is really old kind of tatty but it is the vans mickey sweater from the very first disney vans collaboration shoes you want to have options with shoes so i am going to be taking these are uh, just a pair of nike parachis they are not the cleanest anymore they used to be quite clean but now they they need a wash but what can you do uh these will be really really comfortable so the other sort of options you got are sketches sketches are really really good walking shoes that aren't gonna hurt your feet after a long long day of walking and then i like having some smart options as well so i've got my timberland boots which are very simple very smart and uh, easy to wear with pretty much anything what is my hair doing at the back i probably take way too much stuff with me but this is just really really cozy this is from pollen bear super soft on the inside it's not like the biggest coat it's just the jacket but it's comfy and it might keep me warm so i will take it just in case it does if we have a date night or something i'm going to go with something a little bit more jackety i may not actually end up wearing this depending on how cold it is when we're there but again this is from pollen bear and i love this jacket it's just a simple light jacket but i yeah i i, I <laughs> depending on how cold it is will determine whether or not i actually wear this one with there but it's always good to have options you need to have options then because it is most likely going to be very very cold i'm going to take this coat this is my big puffy coat from uniqlo it's very quilted it's very warm and yeah it's gonna keep me nice and warm then there's some underwear socks jeans but you don't need to see that so let's move on to the electricals before i get to the electricals though i completely forgot about gloves i am definitely definitely going to need a pair of gloves so these are like thermal gloves and a scarf so i've obviously got this this is ridiculously long i think a 12 foot long scarf so it goes around my neck like a billion times and it is definitely going to help with staying warm when we are in new york okay let's get to the electricals 
absolute number one top tip all the time whenever you are traveling to another country extension lead I've said this before like a billion times in loads of my other vlogs where I've traveled away but extension leads they are the way forward this one has got four UK plug sockets and it's got two USB uh, USB points at the top as well so this has got everything you need and then there's the UK plug there I went to Wilco and got myself a USA travel adapter so this rather than having like loads of travel adapters you don't need them. There we go. One travel adapter and you've got four UK plug sockets and two USB points as well. So this is going to be good for charging up all the stuff that we need to charge up. Okay, so I have three camera battery chargers with me, so I am never going to run out of charge, so that Craig and I can watch the same thing on my laptop at the same time. Got an audio splitter. This definitely falls under the electricals because it is an iPhone app. If you've never been to New York before, they do something called the New York Pass. So if you want to do all the different tourist attractions and things, like going up the Empire State Building, seeing the Statue of Liberty, there's loads of different things that you can do in New York. So basically, you just pay for the New York Pass and and you can pick how many days you get. So we went with five days. So we've got five days on this of this pass, and it starts working from the first day that you use it. So it gives you access to all of the different things. So rather than paying individually for each of the experiences, you just pay for the one New York pass for however many days you want, and you can fit as many as you can possibly fit into the, that time frame when you when you've got your New York pass. It's made it really really easy to plan what we want to do on what days because it comes with loads of itineraries that are already like set up, and it tells you how long each of the experiences take so you can really gauge how much you can fit into your time when you're there. Another great thing to get yourself sorted with before you go away is something called Revolut. There's an app so you can use your app to, to do everything. Really, really easy. It is a card. So it's like a prepay debit card type thing. So you can put the money on in your own currency and then it, you can exchange it into the currency of the place where you're going and it's really good rates. So I've got a load of dollars on here which makes it so much easier and it's got a tip. You put your own pin code on and it's it's really really good so Revolut I'm not showing my card number but Revolut card there you go check it out if you want to find out about it I'll put the links in the description down below for that and also for the New York pass okay let's get back in I'm pretty much done so I hope you enjoyed that pack with me video there are some other little bits I am gonna need to get some like travel essentials from boots but I'll do that when we go to the airport we're staying at a hotel at the airport I'm not sure which one Craig saw it out so we get some points of some kind I don't know and then we are flying with Virgin the next day because it's like a 8 a.m. flight it's a very early flight that's why we're staying at the airport beforehand so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you really, really soon with our New York vlog. Let me know in the comments down below what your top three travel essentials are and if you think I missed anything that I'm definitely gonna need, let me know. There's still time for me to pack it. That's pretty much it, so I will see you guys really soon. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss any uploads. Mwah! Goodbye, New York, here I come. Bye.